Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Joel Davis Carter, and I will be serving as your instructor slash facilitator for the PACE 111 course. Um, this course is focused on uh, those of you who are interested in the pathway to communications and humanities. I am thrilled to be in this online learning community with you over the next eight weeks. Um, I think that you will find the information we are going to cover to be helpful, insightful, and information that you can put in your academic toolbox to make you the best UMGC scholar that you can be. Um, just a little bit about myself. Um, again, my name is Dr. Joel Davis Carter. Dr. Carter is fine. Um, I currently reside in Durham, North Carolina. As you know, we're a global community, so some of you may be viewing this uh, from an international stat setting or from Durham or from Texas or from California or from Idaho. Um, we're all from different places, which is going to make um, our learning very unique because we come from diverse places and also from diverse perspectives. So I've been in higher education for about 20 years as both an administrator as well as a teacher and an instructor teaching on both the undergraduate and graduate level. I've taught courses such as PACE um, and so that's why I'm so excited, excited to be engaged with you all. I have not taught it in the context of an institution like UMGC that focuses on more adult learners. So I'm really looking Looking to get to know you all better as well as learn myself. This uh, will create a different learning curve for me, but I'm excited about that. Um, my research interests have primarily been about what this course is about, and that's high student engagement. You know, uh, student engagement, what factors influence students' um, success inside and outside the classroom. So I'm very interested in learning and exercising how I, as an instructor, as well as with the resources from the universities, university can meet you um, halfway with your academic and career interests so they can align and we can help um, each other achieve your optimal um, career goals on this educational journey. Um, in the course, uh, you will see, uh, we start on August 19th, uh, you can go ahead and jump into the sub uh, syllabus and review that thoroughly. We will go over that, you know, again, to make sure I answer any questions you have about the syllabus and any class or course expectations. I think it's going to be key to address those things head on um, in the beginning of the course so we can try to run as seamlessly as we can. So go ahead and take a look at that syllabus as well as the due dates for different assignments and jot those down in your phone, your smartphones, or your calendar. If you're like me, I'm kind of old school. I still use the paper calendar to document things, uh, feel free to use that as well, but that information is now available to you. Uh, my contact information is on there as well, my um, faculty email address. So if you have questions even before the 19th or after, email me. Um, my goal is to respond within 24 to 48 hours, but more in 24 hours to your questions and concerns. If you would like to meet via platforms such as this, Zoom, Skype, um, go to meeting, just let me know. Um, I do have access to those platforms and I would be willing to discuss those things with you there. So um, again, uh, this is an eight week course. The first week will fo focus on uh, your goals and values. Um, we're very interested in getting to know uh, what you're interested in, what is important to you so that I can better align um, my facilitation as well as exercises and maybe supplemental readings. Um, you know, better germane to your interests and things of that nature. So that that first module is very important. So take a look at that. The assignment that will be due for that is, I think it's a brief exercise uh, called What Motivates You? And it's four aspects to that exercise uh, to get a sense of what motivates you. And this is going to be a very critical assignment because it's, it will, in fact, enable me to get to know you better, your background, your interest, um, some things that you may perceive as challenges, um, and some things that you may see as a success, things that you do very well that you want to leverage. So go ahead and, and take advantage of that. Um, so with that, that's all I really have to say, just kind of three tidbits here, you know, take advantage of this opportunity. Uh, you've enrolled, uh, you've been accepted to the university, that's a huge success. Look at this course and others as investing in your blue chip. Make the most out of it. Go beyond thinking about, am I going to pass or fail or make an A or B? But more instead, what am I gaining that I can begin to package that will help me down the road as I, as I work on my degree here at UMGC? Um, take ownership of your lear learning. Um, capitalize uh, opportunities to network with your peers. 
in this online community. We'll have several discussion boards where we pose different questions. Um, I'm gonna use uh, the student lounge online as well as groups so that you can have uh, discussions in small groups as well and work on projects together. So you wanna take advantage um, and learn from your peers. In fact, a lot of research says that more learning takes place peer to peer than even between um, instructor and facilitator. Now I want you to talk to me, but still <laughs> take advantage of all the uh, value that you have uh, from your colleagues in this learning community. And then uh, finally, uh, you know, uh, ask questions. Um, try out things, what is this? You know, take advantage of all those resources that you have access to right now. Uh, the library, uh, the writing center, the academic advising piece, information about student organizations. You know, go ahead and really uh, jump in, dig, probe into the website uh, with all those resources, jot down things that are of interest or that you don't even quite understand and pose questions so maybe that we can address those through this course or I can point you in the right direction to staff and colleagues to get you those questions. But otherwise, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is showtime. I'm excited and I look forward uh, to hearing from you from the first discussion board um, on the 19th and thereafter. Again, Dr. Joel Davis Carter, if I can be helpful or answer questions um, this week, please, please, please feel free to reach out. I look forward to engaging with each and every one of you. Have a good one.